Hello everyone! Roxas here, welcome you to episode number 58 of our Pokemon Insurgents and Let's Play. On the last episode, we uh, defeated all the gym trainers in this uh, gym, uh, the Sonata gym, and now we're gonna face uh, Diana, the gym uh, leader from this team. Uh, we're bringing the same Pokemon, the same team that we brought on to the gym because, duh. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I still have my fairy counters in case it comes to that, and they're also a uh, psychic resist, so that's also nice. And yeah, it kind of was kind of helpful on the last episode. Uh, the only thing I changed was him instead of having the amulet coin. Now he has the leftovers because this is going to be a gym battle, and we've had our fair share of not so good uh, battles. Well, not not so good, but difficult battles. But yeah, let's see what Diana brings to the table. Welcome, Challenger. I am Diana, leader of the Celine City Gym. The gym I run is themed around the dreams, such as... and as such. I specialize in both psychic and ghost types. I hope you found my gym puzzle clever. If you understood the poem, I'm sure you had no trouble getting through, the, through my gym at all. Poem? Was there a poem? Well, anyways. When it said to walk right ahead, I wouldn't be any more literal, literal. But anyways, enough of that, right? Let's get this show on the road. Get ready to lose. Wow, why are we walking so slow? Oh, this is funny. Da -da -da. Bring it. She has a cool look on her. I would rather that her shoes match the uh, green of her hair. But anyways, little Diana would like to battle full team of six. Sableye! Oh no. Okay, he can maybe toxic me, but I don't think he has like toxic spice or anything. Trick! Okay. Choice scarf. I have a choice scarf. Okay. Okay. Thank you for the lefties once again. Can I please blow? Okay. This is good. So far, no uh, attack. So I'm gonna go for the seed bomb. So you're just gonna be tricking stuff left and right. That's all you do, say lie. Maybe he's here to willow his uh, people. But the only move he can do now is trick because I'm a fire type. I mean, I kill him now without receiving any damage, so yay. I guess. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about that. Okay. Gengar! Oh, please don't tell me it's a mega Gengar. It's for fire. Sludge wave. Oh no, you're dead. <laughs> Life or Jesus Christ! I don't know what I was thinking. Life or Okay, it's not Mega Gengar. The question is, is he faster than me? My Gengar has a dazzling gleam. So maybe I should just go ahead. I'm one level above. So let's Shadow Ball. Yes! That should be enough. Bye. Bye. Bye, Gengar. What's gonna be your Mega? I'm still rooting for Mega like a Sam. Well, not rooting, guessing Mega like a Sam. Uh, Gothy Tail. <laughs> What's up with that sound? Shadow Ball. Oh! Mega Gothy Tail! What's that like? <laughs> it kind of looks like. Uh, what's her name? Katrin, the Dynamax form? Kalmine. Uh oh. Uh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. I need someone to hit strong. Okay, let's go to Joss. Pretty sure Gothy Tail has a Shadow Ball. Yeah. Another one was not gonna kill. Should I go for the flinch? Or 
for the super strong hit. Okay. Oh, I, we didn't miss. What? You did that. Okay. It's okay. Sorry, Joss. It's okay. You did some damage. Just enough for Wonder to come in and shadow ball this girl. For restore. Oh no. Get a special defense drop. Get a special defense drop. Or a crit! That also helps. That also <laughs> helps a lot. <laughs> I don't know why she went for the Shadow Ball. Psychic, it's still super effective against me. Okay. Got the bar. I knew it. 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 I, knew it. Um, I don't think you're gonna die from one hit. You can then Thunderbolt. I was thinking if I should, su should switch it to Hidden uh, Power. Okay, not super effective. The Siren Head. Yes! <laughs> I knew it! Yeah, at the beginning they said that. Uh, how did it put it? Dark types are uh, your friend, also ghost types. It's like, no, it can't be that easy. Okay, just two Pokemon left. Chandelure! Oh my god, I'm faster than this thing. I should be faster than this thing, yes. Bye bye. Okay, okay. It's not so complicated. Who's your last Pokemon? It's kind of weird that he, she didn't save the Mega Evolution for last. Cresselia? Oh my god, how am I... Cresselia? 64. Okay. What's her moveset? I don't know what Cresselia gets. Ice Beam, Moonblast, Calm Mind, Psychic, Psy Shock, I guess. Uh, I have no one with Toxic. My Willow Whisper is uh, painted. <laughs> Let's see how much we do with an iron head. Combined. Okay. This might be dangerous. So let's go for a sword dance. Ice beam. I can leave that. Yes! A crit? I leave the crit. Okay. Let's go for the hyper potion. As long as she doesn't freeze me, we'll be fine. Signal beam. I resist that. Oh, please don't confuse me. Thank you. But you have left this. Arrowhead. head. Oh, um, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. you freeze me okay is there another way I can attack Cresselia we've seen ice beam signal beam and that's it right maybe he used used side wave or something wonder can maybe get a hit off uh, Valentine might just wait I have an unaware with Valentine, okay, so you're like my last line of defense, Valentine. I should be faster, so if I calm mind, I can be okay. I'm thinking way too much stuff at the same time. <laughs> okay, I know I can leave the ice beam. Calm mind again, no. I have to waste another turn to trying to defreeze myself. Defrost. Do I have an ice heal? Oh, I have a full heal, so that should be, you know. Yeah. Okay. Stop it. Don't freeze again. Another crit? Come on! Cresselia. I have to do the most amount of damage I could. I can. 
Okay. That's good, that's good. Um, so, Ice Beam. Well, I said that you were my last line of defense, but considering all stuff, let's call mine. And faster. If she freezes me. I'm unaware! Yes. Maybe I should Thunderwave her. Ice Beam. They should do even less. Okay. Uh, I have to heal now. I do have Ice Heal, okay. Uh, I don't know how much HP do you have. Yeah, I have to go for the Hyper Potion. I was gonna go for the Momo Milk, but... I don't care if you start yeah. mining. It's not a wave. Yes! <laughs> Yay, full para! Uh, the leftovers aren't helping me. And uh, let's see how much we do with an Earth Slash. We missed! Of course we missed. Why wouldn't we? We do some decent amount. I'm so glad you aren't aware about the time. Yeah, you crit! <laughs> I was gonna go for another combine. But the crit also actually helped. Oh my god, Brasenia, that stupid little thing. And I didn't even use my <laughs> Mega Blast toys. That was a stunning battling. Thank you. It seems as if I've been toppled. I guess it had to happen eventually. Congratulations, here's your prize. Dreamland Badge. Okay. This will let higher level Pokemon obey you. It can also attract rare wild Pokemon in certain areas, such as this of Friend Safari. And take this too, it's as a gift from me. Psychic! Like a Psychic now. Nice. That team cont contains the move Psychic. Psychic is perhaps the most well-known Psychic type move. It's very strong and very reliable. This TM is definitely an invaluable asset for any trainer. Next, I'll assume you want to go to Amph Ampharite City. My brother's boyfriend, Kharif, runs the gym there, okay? Your boyfriend? Interesting. Kharif. Kharif, okay. Kharif, the boyfriend, runs the jump there. His team specializes around the rain, so you might want to prepare for that. Oh, and don't you f don't forget, you can exit the gym just by going straight down. Oh! <laughs> That's funny. Okay! Well, as I told you, uh... Oh no, something's gonna happen over there. Now, I'm not gonna follow him just yet, because I have a special thing planned. Uh, that battle wasn't as terrifying as I thought it was going to be. Uh, the Mega Bokothi Thel was something interesting, to say the least. But actually the crits actually helped us a lot. The grid with Gengar was okay against the Mega Gothi Tail. Uh, that made it that made us go for a two-hit KO move. Uh, maybe he was going to kill us with the Shadow Ball, even if we didn't greet her. But uh, at that point Gengar was no longer necessary. I think I could have brought Resetti and Earthquake at the Mega Gothi Tail, so there's something there. Uh, in the end I don't think it mattered. And again, two more air slashes was going to kill the... Cresselia? I forgot her name. I was gonna say Lulnala, I don't know why. But well, Cresselia was going to die for um, two more uh, air slashes. And because I'm unaware, it didn't matter if she went for the Calmine. Maybe if she created me with the Ice Beam, I would have been in trouble. But then again, 
I still have the rest of my party, the Gengar and the Mega Blastoise. Mega Delta Blastoise, so that was something that was going to be hard for her to handle. Especially since I nasty plot uh, Mega Dark Pulse Mega Launcher. So, yeah. The thing that I wanted to do on this episode, besides the gym leader, I wanted to check how these... Hello? Oh, I have to click. Uh, here in my secret base, uh, there's these uh, people... Uh, I don't know which one is the one that resets my EVs, because I want to check how the EV resetting works, because if you see here, uh, I want to test with Michael. He's our starter, he's going to be with us for a while. Uh, he has really decent IVs, so that's why I'm going to go for, but he has a lot of EVs in attack, which I don't need. And considering that we are nearing the end of the game, because we have like six gym badges? Uh, hold on, no. Where can I see the gym uh, in my name? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, six gym badges. So from the here on out, I think that we are gonna have to uh, be a little bit more careful of what uh, the training of our Pokemon is going to be. So yeah, uh, I want to check how these work out. So let's check. Who are you? If this can be uh, tough to train up. Okay, so you are the EV trainer. I want the EV Eraser. Get tougher. I'm the level trainer. Okay, no. Not the level trainer. EV Resetter. Yes. Which Pokemon? I want Michaels. Oh, I can reset any of these. The attack. This didn't cost? Hold on. Oh, baby! Uh, I might need to do some <laughs> some grinding for the next episode because I'm gonna start doing this EV uh, resetting and EV training especially for the Pokemon in our rotation team uh, I also need to buy the other stuff for the EV training I think that with the muscle band I can just switch it out, our Pokemon. Because by buying all the rest of the uh, EV training items, it's going to be kind of difficult. Well, not difficult, but tedious. Uh, I don't know if I should make Michael a uh, especially offensive bulky Pokemon, or uh, make him as fast as I can. So that he can outspeed uh, most stuff. He's already bulky enough, I think. But if I make him faster... Is he gonna outspeed anything? Okay, what's your uh, speed compared to the others? It's kinda decent. So if I make him faster... Uh, your speed IVs are better than your... Your defense. You have only three IVs in defense. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm gonna do that with the most. Our offensive mods are gonna be maxed in a special attack or attack. Uh, the only mixed one I'm thinking of would keep uh, of keeping it that way would be Isabel because she has super power and crunch, I guess. Yeah, I think crunch. So that's going to be one of our mixed attackers, but the other ones are going to be either maxed out in special attack or attack and max speed so that they can outspeed everything else. Now, for example, you have a lot of IVs in attack also, but you don't need them. I'm thinking about getting rid of Soccer Punch. I know it's priority and it's always appreciated, but I've never even used it in battles, so... And you don't have that many in IVs. You're in speed IVs. Your speed so already so fast. Wow. Imagine if I invest in the in the speed ones. 
so yeah I'm just gonna give you a quick uh, shout out to well a quick uh, I don't know team recap of how I'm gonna be doing this so Michael is gonna be a specially offensive Pokemon uh, max speed max special attack and maybe some HP uh, wonder again max special attack max speed with maybe some special defense or some of if you have no HP at all your defenses and your HP are like the worst you can have maybe I'm gonna give him some attack to well like I'm gonna get rid of sub punch until something better comes up but yeah maybe yeah the important ones are special attack and speed so it's good like that Reseti, you're adamant, so well your speed is actually really nice. 154. Wow, okay. So yeah, you need the rest of your attack IVs. You're gonna hit even harder. Even imagine with the sword defense, that's gonna be really nice. Arcana, for example, is gonna be one of our defensives, so maybe mixed defenses. Uh, maybe I'm gonna invest a little bit more in special defense because he has Willow Wisp and he can take hits with the Willow Wisp. And a little bit more specially defensive than defensive. Or maybe make him full defensive that even with the Willow Wisp it's gonna be swallowing hits. Yeah, maybe that's gonna be Arcana. You're pretty balanced on the EVs now that I've noticed. Uh, yeah. Uh, just again, attack and speed. Uh, you're scarred, so why do you have so many defense items? Oh, you have even higher special, higher attack than him and his adamant. So yeah, we're gonna have to invest on you, Jules, in your attack and speed again. You're almost maxed out IVs in attack and speed, so we're gonna work on those. Uh, Valentine again. Oh my god, you have no IVs in special attack. Maybe that's why you don't do that much damage. Yeah, Valentine's gonna be the same. Okay, uh, those are for the ones that are in our party. For the rest of them, uh, let's check out uh, Demix. I don't want to make him a bulky special attacker, but let's see his IVs and EVs. <laughs> Max HP and mixed defenses might be the best idea for you. And you're not gonna outspeed anyone, especially with one speed IV. <laughs> so maybe invest a little bit more in special attack and mixed defenses, so he can take hits and give, uh, give back some attacks. Right. Retaliate, so some attacks. Then Gato, I'm actually thinking of giving up on you. Uh, your stats are like meh. You have nice special attack, special defense, and speed IVs, but you're more of an offensive Pokemon, not specially offensive. Your special attack is a little bit higher than your special attack. Your attack is a little bit higher than your special attack, so maybe if I invest. Uh, I like you because you have a Shell Smash and you're our only fairy type in the rotation team. So I don't know what to do with you. He tried to learn uh, Giga Impact when I was training him. Uh, chip away. It's not the strongest move, I would rather have something better for him. So maybe. Hopefully I'm gonna find something. Next is Sabelle. As I told you, max speed, uh, mixed. Maybe I'm gonna make you bulky. It's not like you do that much damage anyways. And I wouldn't... Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'm gonna make you bulky. So that you can stealth rocks, Venom shock. Well, you only have superpower. I got rid of... I forgot that I got rid of crunch for stealth rocks. And if I get toxic, I think it's better if I make you defensive. Yeah, I make it defensive. Sounds nice. Yeah, it's supposed to be a mix defensive Pokemon. 
Its offensive cap capabilities are way higher, but yeah, uh, its defense IVs are higher than its special defense. Uh, so maybe I'm gonna make you defensive with special attack, some special attack investment. Uh, Superpower has already as it's such a strong move that it doesn't matter if I invest in attack or not. Yeah, bulky defensive, uh, mostly. Then Julius, uh, you're gonna be especially defensive, of course. Uh, that's where you shine the most. <sighs> the only way, Aqua Jet. Or oh, maybe I should teach you also Iron Head. Now that I have access to that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, mix defensive again. Uh, if I get Scald, Flash Cannon, and or Ice Beam, you would be way better. So that's what I'm gonna be doing with you, Julius. Uh, Richie, again, I'm just gonna reset that the other stuff. You're almost maxed in special attack, Jesus Christ. Um, if there was a way for me to change the nature of you, I would totally go for it. But maybe investing in speed is not that bad. 115, you're not that slow compared to the rest. So, uh, stupid nature. Um, yeah, I have to invest in speed. Uh, there's no way you can leave some hits. And you can have bulky, especially uh, speaking. But your nature, your nature is so bad. Lowering the speed. I know that if I uh, take her to the... In this town there was this thing that made us... There was like a gumball thingy that we sent our Pokemon in and he came out with an item or maybe a nature change and stuff like that, but I'm not gonna do that. I prefer just investing in the speed, so we are kinda we kind of neutralize the nature of Richie, so yeah, making him max special attack is gonna be even better. Look at that special attack, it's so nice. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, up next, Cleaver. Again, another one that's so bad because of his nature. I don't know what to do with you, Cleaver, if I'm honest. Um, investment in attack, that's always nice. You only have 28 in... What? Okay, hold on, I want to check something. So, 28 plus 56 plus 17 plus 38 plus 37 plus 34 uh, to 10. Okay, so you're not even maxed in IVs that you can learn. Interesting. Yeah, those numbers were a little bit too low for me to actually consider that. So, uh, Magnus, you're just there to catch Pokemon, so... Uh, I actually want to check your Mega Evolution Harley. Uh, Blobby, it's just uh, there. I don't know. Should I train it? So, now that I have the ability capsules, I can make him water absorb. I'm not gonna because I already have enough water types, so sorry Blobby. Rocket, as I said, ah, I'm gonna take out. Uh, again, another uh, weakness to fighting I don't want because we already have so many. So bye-bye. Sebastian, uh, I'm gonna check him to see how he evolves. Vulcan, I wanna actually train because he's a pure fire type. And I would like to see how he mega evolves with that type Lotionite. Mm, and I think max special attack, max speed would be a nice way to do that. So, yeah. Uh, why not? We still need to find out what the egg does. But uh, I... I still need to think what I'm gonna do with Cleaver. Max attack, of course, but should I make him max speed? 88. Or maybe just make him max HP. He's kinda bulky. 
he has okay defenses, but the amount of weaknesses you have is way too high, way too high, Cleaver. I like the typing, but why? Why is I so weak to so many things? And combined with fighting, the only thing Ice and Fighting neutralize each other is the rock typing. Ice is weak to rock and the fighting resists rock, so they neutralize that way. That's the only advantage I can see. Weak to Psychic, weak to Fairy, weak to Flying, weak to Steel, weak to Fighting, weak to Fire. There's too many weaknesses. I think I think I'll be better if I try to make him a uh, max speed cleaver to hopefully outspeed some stuff. He has some speed uh, investment already. Oh, your IVCs are so bad. Okay, now that we've won some items, I actually want to check something before we go out. Uh, there was this tablet. Okay. I thought I registered the tablet to do the changes in our... Oh, it's with Y! Oh my god, so far away. Why? Uh, purchase items. Uh, functions. Mart Worker Fossil Maniac IV Changer. Oh, that might be good. Liberator, Move to Leader. Nurse. Black Guy. Pick a taxi, take her agent. No, there's no like nature changer. <laughs> Why is there no nature changer? Ah, <sighs> well. Yeah, I'm gonna do that in between episodes so that uh, next time uh, that we are gonna actually. We have to face at the. The guy that we actually saw passing by. I think it was the Perfection Cultist guy, so I'm a little bit worried. I might need to change our team for that guy. But before we go, I actually want to check one last thing. Can I buy full restores? Nope. Still just max, po max potions. Uh, why? What? Give me full restores. I already have six gym badges. That should be enough. Uh, well, anyways, I'm gonna wrap up the episode right here. I'm gonna take care of that on the next episode. Uh, so you're gonna be watching some changes uh, so that you can actually. Uh, so that we can actually get uh, more smoothly through stuff and uh, not get bodied uh, so fast. So, yeah, I hope this works. Uh, this has to work because it's competitively viable, but... Yeah, we're not gonna have uh, that much of troubles against the... Cold people. Yeah, the cold people. <laughs> and hopefully we'll be having uh, more fun in this Let's Play, so... Let's hope for the best, but uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thank you for watching, leave a like if you did, and it's time, trap it all. Bye-bye.